Hi everyone, now the fly I'm going to be tying, now I'm going to show you this fly here. Now this is a, a suspender, basically midge, or midge, it's an adult midge basically being suspended by a bit of foam. But as well we've got the dubbing to help. But this is a plain one, this is just a normal, you can actually put a wing on it if you wish. So I'm going to tie the winged version. Uh, this is a great way, a great pattern. Uh, it's just it's, it's good right out through the season, depending on the colour you want to tie it as well, because it can be easily tied any colour in this style. Uh, but as I say, you can put a wing on it, and I do get asked a lot about uh, wings and such, so I'm going to put a, just a hackle point on this, just white tips. So, hook, is, again, it's up to yourself. Obviously, this style of hook encourages the shape. Uh, if you want it flat, uh, but this is worth doing flat uh, in this style as well because the, the adult midge is more on the surface but to be honest with you when you're using the foam and such it, you can pull this you can do a lot of things with it uh, the other thing you can do I'll just show you before I tie the fly you you can colour the, the foam up and you can see there I've just marked it with a black pen uh, just to lift the fly but I've still got the aiming point it's important that you can see the aiming point, uh, I mean there's just another one a wee bit better or so, it depends, you, or just keep it white, I'm just going to keep it white. Yeah. So anyway, hook as I say is this one, this is the Czech Nymph hook, uh, this one's from Fooling Mill. There is two, this is a lighter wire version, there is a heavier uh, version, uh, it's a size 14, now you could use a heavier version than the size 14, but once you go above that the hook's getting a bit, a bit heavy. So anyway, Start of the eye, the good thing, just put a layer of thread down to the point of the hook, remove the waist, and then come back up. Stop at a good couple of mil or a mil, a couple of mil from the the eye of the hook, because you need some material, you want to be tying some materials in. Now, what I've got here, this is, I'm just going to zoom out a wee bit so you can see this. There we are. Now, this is uh, Wopsy's high dense foam, uh, obviously in white. You can see there's holes been cut in it. I use tube, a tube cutter, just a metal tube that's on a drill and I drill through it. I would show you it but I can't find it for some reason. But anyway, I've uh, laid it by. I've got different sizes. There is a bigger one as well. This is a 5mm I'm using, which is this size here. There is one slightly smaller, I think it's 3mm. Uh, and then I think it's 7 is the bigger one. But the popular size and need for doing these is this size. Now, just come back in to make sure you can see the fly. There we are, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do here, to tie it on, cut it into a, the angle, I'm not, the angles are not 90 degrees obviously because it'll be straight. Uh, so we've got about a 45 degree cut there. Want to tie this on, now first thing you've got to make sure is your threads wax, you need the grip. Now I want to catch the whole cylinder, I mean the full sort of width of it. Then come on to the tapered cut at the back. Just keeping a hold of the ends, the end there, just to keep it in control to get to the very point. And then I like to come up again just to make sure it's sitting where I want. Just check that there's room at the front, which there is. Then come quickly back. And that there gives you. Uh, Basically a good taper up onto the fly, but it's actually still uh, adds a bit of float and makes it a wee bit more buoyant as well. I've got a silver tinsel here, this is a small, now you can use a pearl if you want, this is just a 16 if you wanted to use a pearl or use what you like. I like the silver, I like both actually, both work. So I'm just going to catch this on, on the way down to the back of the hook, just about there. Give yourself some of the hook obviously you need to be able to, if you're in catch and release, let it go, maybe get your fingers into it. And you want to bring your thread back up maybe, I would say a couple of mil. Got some black, I've got, what have we got here, can't see it for this here, but anyway, I've got the, this is the FNF Black Seals for. So there we are, which is 
take it off, just lightly dub it onto your thread and then we're going to just taper it some way, just, you'll get a taper, uh, if you just take your time, apply the dubbing a wee bit thinner or a wee bit thicker where you want it, or you can go slightly back, now you get to this point there, that's basically the body, because this is the, the bibio version, uh, the, it's got a red part, you've got to leave room for that, bring your rib up, quite close, about five, maybe even six turns or so, I'm going to fly this size anyway. Screw it in. Just going to use the scissors to trim it away. See what it's like, make sure it's secure. It's fine. Just drawing back the seals for. There's a couple of the longer ones here, I'm just going to take them out. There we go. Now, there, uh, there's a couple of things you can do here. Uh, the red is, this is a bibio red. Again, it's, this is from F&F. &F. It's a nice, nice, a nice colour. It's got a bit of fluorescence in it, which I like. It's nice and, nice and bright, so. I'll make sure it's deep in colour. And you're happy then, take away the excess. I wax my thread just now. Now the issue we're going to have here is putting the wings on this. But so I'm going to put the legs on first though. Uh, I've got pre-knotted dyed black uh, pheasant tail fibre here. I've got six legs. So bring them 90 degrees for the stem, tear it off. This one's a wee bit short so I'm just going to lift it to the right length. Yeah. So three either side. Just bring the fibres either side of the, the hook. Come up for the underside. I like these, I like to see them and I like them on the side. Helps to support the fly. Make sure they're secure. At this point we can see how they're sitting. You can move them about, just stuck together here. Once you start to cast them, they'll open out. That looks fine to me. Trim away. Again, a wee bit of wax just to tidy up. Now there's a good couple of mil there. Now I'm going to use, I'm using up these, this is a white cock cake I've got. I've got small hackles at the base here. Ideal for, to give impression of the wing. Take two out, quite chock. Uh, there we go, i two here. I'm just going to basically both side by side. I usually at times I'd put them on top of one another, but I want to try and position them to the back of the hook. So you've just got to try and just make room for them. Just come in, hold them with your finger and thumb. Come around with a couple of loose turns at first. Position them where you want. I'm just going to come back up. Made them. The foam's in the way, so there we are. That's a bit better. There you go. Just tie them on the top. It'll look better once I start to finish it off with the, the seals for the black seals for the for the thorax. Secure it in. Obviously wax the thread. Just check everything's fine. Good. So back to the same seals for the black. Now you want to be able to, this is going to represent his legs as well, but help you float the fly, so don't put it on too tight. So, tidy the area up in front of the wings. Then, much like a parachute here, what I'm going to do is just slightly tighten this up. And then come underneath. And basically, you're like posting the foam with the, the seals for it. It's going to be loose looking, but you want some thread turns through it. Just ignore it at this point, and then just make sure your thread's in front, just at the eye, form a small head. Keeping the thread tight, 
just ignore everything is th this point and then we want to what finish you're going to catch the odd fibre so don't worry about it tighten up trim away your thread now what you want to do now uh, is basically bring out some of the, the seals for with some velcro which I'm going to do it's going to be, I mean, this here is rough. This is going to be a rough light. It's meant to be a rough light. Uh, you basically, it will flow it. You can pull this. You've got the foam to help you. Now, I usually cut this, and when I measure it, it's around about 7mm or so. Every time I do it, just a nice straight cut. And there we go. Uh, it's a very fishy fly. Obviously, this one's got the wing to give more of the adult colour. If you feel... Uh, so one or two of the fibres are a bit long, you can always just pluck some of them out. But uh, the more you pluck out, the less there is to basically give that impression. But if you, this is basically like a bob's bits. The bob's bits is just basically a body of seals fur. It's got an impression of a wing like this. It's not got the legs, but it's got a wee a hackle, maybe a turn or two at the top. But the thorax is very heavy. It's like this, very it's full. Uh, plenty of dub in there to when you put your muslin or whatever you use to float your fly, it soaks in. This here will float all day. I mean, you can do a quick false cast and it's back out there. But although you can fish this with a team, you can fish it with other flies. It could be on the point, it could be in the top dropper. You, you just manage it to suit. The point's a good place for this. Even though it will catch the wind, but when you're fishing from a boat, especially, uh, the, the wind's coming off your back. So it turns it over okay. Trim away a couple of fibres here. You can see it's a nice pattern. You can colour it up as I say. Just use a permanent marker. Eh, just to make it black but keep the white tip if you want to darken it down. There is sometimes it does pay to do that but overall the white's fine. So there we are. That's it's really a ball of fluff in a way but there's, there's plenty of... If you hold this to the light you'll see the, uh, the shape. The shape's right and fish love these type of flies so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and again thank you for watching until next time